Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union. We're here in Glasgow, surrounded by stalls and fire engines, joined by Regional Secretary for Scotland, Denise Christie, and General Secretary Matt Rack. Denise, first of all, tell us why we're all here. Well, we're here to celebrate the centenary of the FPU. Uh, it's also a day for remembrance. Uh, it's a day where we remember the Cheapside fire disaster where 19 firefighters tragically lost their life in a, in a whiskey bond. So we wanted to commemorate that day but also celebrate the FPU centenary. Now you're going to have a film shown in the building quite close uh, to here, the new firefighters film which has been commissioned by the union. Now who are you invited to this film showing? Well, we felt it important to invite members from right across the region so they can see, you know, firsthand the history of the FBU. Uh, we've had ex-officials that's also played their part uh, in the union, so we've invited them that's, that's, that, that may have retired, and other trade unions within the movement, within the STUC as well. I see there's um, obviously a lot of people have joined us today, and there's some families of firefighters who've been killed in the line of duty. Is that people you especially invited? Yes, it is. We've got uh, the mother of Ewan Williamson, Linda Williamson. Uh, Ewan tragically lost his life in a fire in the Balmoral Bar in 2009. And Linda's been very, very supportive of the FBU, uh, and she really wanted to come and to celebrate our history with us and we've also got Andy Adams who was the first recipient of the Firefighters 100 uh, lottery who's also coming along to celebrate the FBU's event. Now General Secretary Matt Rack, Matt you were at the memorial event today, um, the Cheapside Memorial event and you laid a wreath on behalf of the Union, just some thoughts on that? Well I think first of all uh, it was the important to remember this is the biggest peacetime loss of life in the fire service, the Cheapside fire here in Glasgow. So it was a very uh, moving uh, ceremony that the Scottish Fire Service do every year. So the union always attends and lays a wreath and I was very pleased to be able to do that today on behalf of the Fire Brigade's union. And I think it's important that we do remember uh, events like that and also the changes that came about as a result of fires such as uh, Cheapside. So that was, I think, a very important part of today. Uh, and uh, we're now looking forward to the film showing and a discussion around uh, around that and Cheapside gets a mention in the film and uh, you know it's a, a very important part of our history. Now Mark we've seen the film in different areas we've had a film showing in Bristol in London and now in Glasgow and in fact here we are surrounded by fire engines today are these the sort of events you'd encourage other areas across the Union to, to take part in? Yeah I would indeed I think uh, the ones that have taken place so far I think the film is a very powerful way of telling the story of the fire service, the firefighters job and our union and our role in shaping the fire service of today and I think that people will find fascinating stories in it that they, they didn't know or they didn't know as much about. Uh, it's a great way of getting discussion going and I would encourage people to do that all across the country and then to take it onto fire stations as well. Yeah that's a very important event when we want firefighters to see the film yeah so what's the message to firefighters keep an eye on the website look out for events I think look out for events but also ask your local officials we'd like a film showing you know organize it a number of people are doing that around firefighters memorial day on the 4th of May around May Day events uh, so over the next month or so people could start planning that and further down the line as I say on fire stations and other venues people should uh, organize a film showing get their old mates get retired members along and and uh, have a bit of a chat about the job, the service and, and the union. It's certainly been a very active day with a lot of our retired uh, FBU officials and members here. But just to be clear, this isn't a film that's in general release. I mean, you can't see it on the internet, no? No, no, we're not. Put it, we will uh, probably put it on the internet at some point, but we want, I think uh, our experience of the ones we've done so far, it's very good. It's very, uh, the best way to see it is collectively as a group. Uh, I think a shared experience and people can have a discussion around the issues raised by the film at the end. Matt, thanks very much, and Denise, thanks very much. Thanks, Sam. Uh, to get more updates on what the film is actually about and where you can see it, please go to our website. That's www.fbu.org.uk. And for more immediate updates on a lot of the centenary events we're holding, you can follow us on Twitter, and that's simply at FBU National. Until next time, thanks very much, and thanks, Dan, and thanks, Matt.